we like this car to be seen as a demonstration of our iconic design to create an innovative, exciting, dynamic concept. So the early challenges are to scan the car and then remodel the side skirt, wheel arches and front and rear bumper. Nissan had developed a set of 2D sketches and these were then modelled in a 3D environment. Then a mould is made on a 5-axis CNC machine. The next stage of the process is to apply a thin layer of carbon fibre into the contours of the mould. And then the mould and the carbon fibre are put inside a vacuum bag which is then compressed to ensure that there is no air between the two. Finally, it's put into an autoclave, which is basically a pressure cooker, and heated to around 100 degrees Celsius. Once we're happy with the fit of the panels, they are then skin pinned to the chassis of the car, and then applied for good with a special glue used in bonding Formula One chassis. The new car has the looks and the power of a sports car, but that means nothing if it can't go round the corners. So next time, we'll show you how we make it handle like a supercar.